31-year-old Jerome Moody was found dead in a New Orleans Recreation Department swimming pool after a Tuesday night lifeguard party. Moody was found fully clothed in the pool when organizers started cleaning up after the celebration. He had been a guest at the 200 People event, with more than half the guests being certified lifeguards. No one knows how he ended up in the pool. Ironically, the party was thrown in honor of the first summer in memory during which nobody had drowned. The owner of the Segway Company, James W. Hesselbin, died while enjoying a weekend on his estate near London, driving off a 30-foot cliff on a Segway. The Segway is a means of transport, steered by the singular rider, by leaning fore and aft and aiming to the left or right by pulling the handlebars. The Segway's top speed is about 12 miles per hour. It came to the market in 2002 and Hesselbin bought the company last year. Ironically, the product he bought the rights to ended up taking his life. Kentucky citizen Mel Ignato died in 2008 by falling on a glass coffee table. At 70 years of age, the man lost balance in his kitchen, shattered the glass with his fall, and bled to his death. Ironically, a glass coffee table is exactly what he had notoriously used more than 20 years prior to tie his ex-girlfriend Brenda Schaefer to and proceed to rape and torture her until she finally died. Ignato was infamously tried for the murder and acquitted due to lack of evidence. His death is definitely ironic justice. Lawrence Baker was sentenced to death for first-degree murder. On Christmas Day 1979, he robbed, beat, and finally shot and killed Robert Limerick in West Philadelphia. Baker was sentenced to death in the electric chair, but the sentence was overturned, and he was resentenced to life in prison. Ironically, Baker died in prison of an electrocution. Using faulty homemade headphones while sitting on an aluminum toilet, Baker electrocuted himself to death. J.I. Rodale died on The Dick Cavett Show in 1971 while the host was interviewing another guest. Ironically, Rodale died after claiming that he never felt better and that he was going to live to be a hundred thanks to his lifestyle. J.I. Rodale was one of the first advocates of organic farming. He founded a publishing empire focusing on health and was famous for his skepticism when it came to traditional medicine. Rodale was ironically a guest on the show advertising his healthy lifestyle philosophy when he died of a heart attack at the age of 72. Philip A. Contos hit his brakes and flew to his death over the handlebars of his Harley Davidson during a protest motorcycle ride. The ride was organized by a group of motorcycling enthusiasts known as ABATE. Contos was riding with 550 fellow motorcyclists when he fatally cracked his head open when he hit the pavement. Doctors said that he definitely would have survived the fall if he had been wearing a helmet. Ironically, the ride was protesting the new mandatory helmet law. Jessica Gawi was a survivor of the Toronto Eaton Center shooting, managing to survive the mass shooting which had occurred in the shopping mall. After the experience, she became a blogger and went on to pursue a career as a sports broadcaster. Unfortunately, her career was cut short at the early age of 24 when she was shot dead. Ironically, she was killed in another mass shooting. Gawi went to a midnight screening of The Dark Knight Rises when James Egan Holmes set off tear gas grenades and shot at the audience. Twelve people, including Gawi, were killed killed in what is today known as the 2012 Aurora shooting. Four people were killed when a Beechcraft King Air 200, taking off in Wichita, Kansas, lost engine power and crashed into the Flight Safety Building near the Wichita Mid-Continent Airport. The pilot of the aircraft and three people who were taking part in the activities of the Flight Safety Center unfortunately lost their lives in the event. Ironically, the Flight Safety Facility carries out training activities and houses flight safety instructors and simulator operators. The killed people were taking part in a flight simulator activity. 18-year-old Taylor Sauer was driving home from college and texting simultaneously. She cut her Facebook conversation short by sending a text stating that she would get back to her friend later as texting and driving wasn't safe. Ironically, only seconds after she sent the message, Sauer crashed into a tanker truck and died instantly. 
A football game in Congo was interrupted by a bizarre weather phenomenon. Lightning struck the playing field and killed 11 people, aged between 20 and 35. All the 11 players were part of the same team. That's correct, an entire football team was killed by lightning, while their opponents were left completely unharmed. This has caused quite a disruptive reaction from the spectators, as natural phenomena throughout Western and Central Africa are very often attributed to witchcraft. In a superstitious surrounding when hiring witch doctors is not unusual, it's no wonder so many people are convinced that the phenomenon is to be blamed on black magic.